So welcome back guys to a brand new video now today we are going to be going through the brand new community crunch 295 for Ark Survival Evolved. This is on the huge update coming Tuesday which is the Lost Island launch and Winter Wonderland 6. This has all the information you need to know, so I hope it really does help you guys out. Smash that like button, guys, if you are really excited for this day. I cannot wait to see the new dinos. What an exciting, obviously, I don't think we've had a content up, like, update like this for so long. Uh, let's see if we can get over a 1,000 likes, and make sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on all of the content that is coming this week. So let's get in with the video, guys. Community Crunch 295, Winter Wonderland 6, lost island launch and more so this has like you like sort of gives you guys an idea of what's coming with all of the content as well as what sort of time you can expect it on different platforms so Deck the halls with Bowers of Holly. Winter Wonderland will be making a triumphant return with new presents and goodies for Ark survivors. The epic winter-themed holiday begins on December 14th and will last until Thursday, January 6th. Now that is a very long event and I do love that. All maps will receive Winter Wonderland and all its content. Raptor Claws will be sailing across the star-filled sky in his sleigh, dropping off presents with filled with high-end loot as well as mistletoe and coal for those naughty survivors. You'll be able to catch Raptor Claws flying across the skies at midnight game time on all maps. Gacha Claws is also making a triumphant return to help Raptor Claws spread the holiday cheer. Gacha Claws will be roaming on all maps looking for eager people. Um, uh, obviously, you know, that can like, you know, feed. I think it's going to work in the same way while sporting holiday themed colours. Yeah, yeah. So he'll be accepting your coal and in exchange will gift you holiday themed items or you can trade in your mistletoe and coal for a arc animated TV show Parasaur skin, a full body Santa costume, new skins, weapons, armor, and five new chibis. I'm looking forward to finding out what those are, actually. So let's get into it. So obviously, as always, if you're on your uh, server, you can um, manually activate the, that with active event equals Winter Wonderland on the 14th. Obviously, the event dates, as we went over, is December 14th until January 6th. Um, so the event rates, as always now, is times three, um, harvesting, taming, breeding, and then they have the 1.5 hexagon bonus, and then it works the same on the other one, small tribes 4.5, Arcpocalypse 5, and classic uh, PvP 5. The event creatures, obviously, the Raptor Claws and Gacha Claws. Now we have some um, returning emotes, but a new one, the Santa Laugh Emote. So that's going to be interesting. I'm sure it's just going to be like ho 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 or something. Um, but like a laughing version if you know what i mean then we got the caroling emote happy clap emote and the nutcracker dance emote returning then we have the new skin as we've been getting costumes recently for summer bash we got the inflatable rex for halloween we got the um skeleton costume and, and the scarecrow and then <clears throat> obviously recently with the uh, turkey trial event we had the turkey costume and for this one we're getting the full body santa costume now i don't know if there's i don't think there's any pictures of it so far um let's have a look here so we oh that might be it there as you can see there's a survivor on the chimney as a full body santa um and then you've got obviously the new sweaters and uh what else we see you can see an amargosaurus here um is that oh is that is that going to be an amargosaurus and dinopithecus chibi we'll be reading that in a second let's have a look and you can see raptor claws up there and a Dinopithecus. Let's have a look. So let's keep going through. So we also get the animated TV show Parasaur skin, three new male and female Christmas themed sweater skins, four new Christmas themed beanie skins, then the return of the Rex sweater skin, Carolus sweater skin, Bulb Dog sweater skin, blue winter beanie, purple winter beanie, green winter beanie, male and female Noglin swimsuit skin, male and female Yeti swimsuit skin, candy cane club skin, Christmas bowler skin, nutcracker slingshot skin, Dino Ornament Swim Bottom and Top Skin, Jaboa Reef um, Swim Bottom and Top Skin, um, Ugly Bronto Sweater Skin, Ugly Carno Sweater Skin, Ugly Chibi Sweater Skin, Grey Winter Beanie Skin, Purple Winter Beanie Skin, Red Winter Beanie Skin, Felt Reindeer Antlers Skin, and the Santa Hat Skin. So, as we were correct, it is going to be the Chibi of the animated TV show Raptor Chibi. Now, that is cool. The Cyanomacrops Chibi, Dinopithecus Chibi, Amargosaurus Chibi, and Festive Noglum Chibi. So, as you can see, 
Um, that we were right with that. Amargosaurus Shibi, Dinopithecus Shibi, then the fest festive Noglan version. The Cynomacrops is pretty small as it is, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see that one. Um, and then, do they not showing off the Raptor anywhere? Am I missing it? I don't know. I can't see a, a, an animated, none of the animated stuff. So maybe it's not in there. I can see a giant, uh, well, a giant Giga. Well, just normal Giga um, poking its head through there. So that's pretty much that stuff. So we've got event items, um, festive dino candy, holiday lights, holiday stocking, holiday tree, a gift box, snowman and reef. Um, and then they actually have brought new a new wild creature color, which is just simply yellow. And then we have the returning colors of jade, pine green, spruce green, dark magenta, glacial, powder blue, teal, dark violet, red green, light gray, light red, dark red, dark light red, dark, uh, um, no, sorry, sorry, dino light red, dino light green, dino medium green, dino albino, and near white. So that is the full lo launch, obviously, of everything that is going to be coming with Winter Wonderland 6. Really, really, really excited. But not only that, obviously, as I mentioned, Ark Lost Island launch. So the Lost Island, man, don't get worried, okay? I, when I first read this, I thought, oh, no, here we go. There's going to be a delay on console, but it's not a delay. Don't worry, guys. The Lost Island rollout begins with PC first. That's when I, that, when I first read that, I was like, no. But then they do go on to say then consoles later in the day on Tuesday, December 14th. So um, I'm not too sure whether the event will go live at the same time or whether the event will go live with console later on in the day. Probably it will go live later on in the, in the day. It's only usually like four or five hours later, to be honest, um, on console. So it's not like it's like a whole day you have to wait. Um, so explore the soaring heights and hidden depths of Ark's new official community map, featuring three new creatures for you to tame. Lost Island boasts 150 square kilometer. Kilometer. What am I saying? Just let's go for KM um, of new biomes and new challenges and mysterious ruins. Um, discover jungle valleys fed by giant waterfalls. Build a treehouse high in the forest um, canopies. Get down and dirty in the vast mangrove swamps. Dive deep underwater. Brave treacherous snowy peaks. Um, and you know, there's so many cave systems in search of treasure. There is something here for everyone. Lost Island is the first community map released with three new creatures and the first to include a creature chosen by the art community which is obviously going to be margosaurus cynomacrops and the tech disabling um dinopithecus dung um stay tuned on our official accounts for more details on launch timing um and then obviously yeah that's pretty much everything from them you know that they need to know about that day so far so this is going to be a video today on the Lost Island and everything, you know, going through all the news. And then throughout the next few days, I will just be keeping you guys up to date on my channel with Lost Island news, everything about the release day. So I do re recommend you have notifications turned on because then you won't miss out on everything that's going to be going on as well. You can go and follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. I keep people up to date on there too. So yeah, I mean, it's going to be one crazy day. If I'm going to give you guys an estimated time, so usually PC, so I only, only note really by UK time um, because, uh, you know, that's what I sort of translated to. Um, so if we like, if I in UK time, PC is usually 9 p.m. UK. So if you want to like type in 9 p.m. UK to whatever time zone you're in, then you can get a little bit of an understanding about what time to expect it. Now, don't, I can't guarantee that that is going to be the exact time because they haven't annoyed. Uh, um, uh, um, announced it why well, do i keep saying words wrong today but um you that's what they do that's what they've done with pretty much most updates this year so far and then on console sometimes it can be like 2 to 4 a.m uk time um so if you have taken the day off let's hope you've taken the wednesday off um because um you know, you don't want to miss out on uh, you don't want to miss out on it by taking Tuesday off because you'll be expecting it a lot later, probably actually actually the Wednesday if you are from the UK, but like early morning. Um, so, Ark Holiday Loot. We're giving in the spirit, and we've stashed away some some Ark Loot for the holiday season. If you've missed out on an opportunity to score a Dodo plushie, Noglin plushie, or Noglin hat, this is the season. Well, this is the season to obviously get that opportunity. How to get the loot? There are various ways to enter the draw for some sweet and cute loot. Contribute a donation of $5 or greater to Extra Life Children's Charity to go into the draw. Donations must be made at the Studio Wildcard Extra Life donation page. Only new donations are eligible. Donations made from the current date forward. Um, or a picture submission on Twitter with the hashtag, um, hashtag ARC Holiday Loot. A picture submission in this community crunch thread. 
We want to see your Lost Island Thames and your event colored dinos, your fan art, your holiday decorations or videos of your ARC holiday experience. Get creative, the rules are simple, make it ARC and make it epic. Each winner will receive one Dodo um, plushie, one Noglin plushie and one Noglin hat. You have until the end of the Winter Wonderland event, which is the 6th of January to get your submissions in or make donations to the Studio Wildcard God Extra Life page. So that's really, really cool. Um, and then yeah, about Eva event, you guys know already, um, so during Winter Wonderland 6, uh, it will be the Times 3 on official servers from the 14th of December until Thursday the 6th of January. And then that's pretty much all the news from Wildcard. A very content-packed community crunch. And then we have the community corner. So obviously Aaron Longstaff, you guys should, uh, will probably know him. Amazing content creator, does all crazy ARC builds. Where whenever I need to make a build on ARC or about, to, you know, I've started up a new server with friends. You know, you know whose video you're going to, Aaron Longstaff. Um, and then fan art, we got Rockwell here. Um, we've got some other really cool um, sort of Christmas themed uh, fan art as well, which is really nice. Um, I do, I, I always mention how talented the art community is. Um, and then if we go down, we can see some in-game screenshots. That is a really, really epic one um, from there. Um, and then this is the map, which I don't know if I pronounced it right, but the Erion. Um, I did a video and you guys seem to love that video. It has like over 30,000 views. And I just was so glad because it really supported this map and got it quite a few downloads. It is not something that you will be disappointed if you're on PC and you haven't tried it out on the workshop, I recommend you do that. And then we've got some other cool uh, designs here um, from in-game screenshots. So, wishing everyone a safe and happy holidays, Studio Wildcard. So, what a launch, guys, it's going to be. I, as, as Wildcard have mentioned, and I've mentioned loads of times, the last time we had three or more free creatures come to the game was back in Early Access, and we've never had a map with those three creatures. Back in Early Access, we, um, Wildcard used to, like, released like four new creatures to the game at once or something um, and that used to happen like every month when the game had just sort of started to launch and then when the game launched they sort of stopped with the creature add-ons apart from when from um, paid DLCs came in um, and they weren't real world ones obviously from paid DLCs they're like made up creatures and you know tech dinos and stuff so it feels so cool to go a little bit like old school with this and you know the thing is what I'm going to be honest with you guys is I really believe you're going to love the Lost Island map and it's something you're not going to be disappointed with as i mentioned it's old school it's a mixture of the island and ragnarok mixed together but with some other things you've never seen before um which I, I i actually believe it's better and i think it could potentially be my favorite ever map on the game i know that's a lot to call but when i've, I've played the 35 percent and there's so much cool stuff just in that that made me enjoy it i just can't wait to see this map i'm going to be playing it all over christmas i'm sure loads of you guys are as well and obviously we got all of the winter wonderland content so smash that like button guys let's see if we can get over a thousand likes as always subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'm looking forward to releasing as more and more content as we get closer to launch